Good morning guys, yeah it's a bit dark in here, uh, it's still early, uh, it's about quarter to six. I'm off to London, I'm going City Athletic, I'm going meeting pro Sean Stafford. Um, and he's going to give me some tips on my pausing and everything for the show next weekend. You know if you drive down the motorway in the UK, right, you see all these diggers and dumper trucks, and even spades that dig themselves, but not a person in sight. It's amazing, it must be robotic or something. I swear it's actually like The Walking Dead. You're waiting for zombie workmen to pop out the hedgerows on the motorway because they're nowhere in sight. It's like a derelict motorway. Other than the traffic, of course. And why is it you go on the smart motorway, right, that's just been resurfaced, it's all brand new barriers and all that kind of stuff, and every 50 meters you hit a fucking pothole or a bump in the road? Quick recap, um, I'm on my way to WBFF Pro Sean Stafford's uh, gym, which is called City Athletic in London. Um, I'm gonna go meet up with him and some of the officials, um, and it should be quite an interesting day. Okay, the idea behind today, um, with meeting Sean and the officials, is to basically, with my show at the WBFF at the Auto in London uh, next weekend, I need to get as many uh, tips and pointers and as much help as possible, and what better person than a WBFF Pro? Yep, you guessed it. Pee pee stop. I'm as bad as my daughter. Damn bladder. We ain't already. An hour in. It's got nearly ready to go. Don't forget to fasten your seatbelts, children, or the officer will stop you. <laughs> Apparently 71 miles on the M1. In a 50? Please not 71 miles in a 50. Please. News flash, bodybuilder mows down 170 workmen on the M1. Officers claim the defendant said they were lifeless, not working, and what was their purpose anyway? They must have just been zombies. Do you think that would wash? To be fair, there's not really even a chance of me mowing down any workmen because there is no workmen and I'm doing 50. Ugh. Not like bored or anything. He's got you guys to keep me company. Like a kid, keep playing with the windows. Window down, window up. Window down, window up. Freedom! Yes! Now we're cruising. Right now, I've just passed um, Silverstone racetrack. If anyone knows what that is, it's wicked. Grand Prix, UK. Really wicked story actually about Silverstone racetrack. When I was about 13, 14 years old, they had a live Top Gear show there. Um, and they were doing racing, they had the F1 teams. Gladiators, if you remember that, the TV show. Wolf, met him. Um, there was everyone David Coulthard, Michael Schumacher. It was wicked. Um, and what was really cool was uh, it was the old Top Gear team with Tiff Nadell, uh, Jeremy um, and the old guy with a bit of a bald head and a comb over who used to drive around in like modified sofas and weird stuff like that. Um, there was also a, um, a competition man by the Top Gear team for who came down in the coolest car. I came down in my friend's Lotus Elise, it was all souped up and stupidly quick, awesome wicked thing. And anyway, I won and I got to go in the car doing donuts with Jeremy Clarkson on the Silverstone racetrack while shaking his hand over the top of the car. Okay guys, uh, a little bit about today, uh, sadly I'm not allowed to film during the posing or any of the posing or anything um, with the officials and with Sean, um, but I can film before and I can film after. But I have spoken to Sean and he's agreed that at the end of the day um, we can video and do um, some questions and stuff for you guys, so if you've got anything you want to ask, um, just drop me a message with some possible questions and uh, I'll try and ask them. If you guys don't know who Sean Stafford is, um, check him out on YouTube, he's a bodybuilding.com athlete, a WBFF pro, um, he's a very influential guy um, with so much knowledge uh, and he has some great content, check him out on YouTube and Instagram. Finally I'm here, check that beast out, 
Yes. Now I'm going to go find the gym. Boom. I'm sorry, guys. Um, as I reminded you earlier, I cannot film any of the footage in the pausing classes or anything or the time with Sean. Um, but when I did get to the end of the day and I had the opportunity to sit with Sean and ask some questions for you lot, um, sadly, my phone had died and I left my charger in the car. So I didn't get to charge my phone until I got back to my car. So thank you for keeping me company on the journey down. Um, sadly, I didn't do that much footage or anything on the journey home because I wanted to drive with a bit of care and attention, seeing as that the traffic was chocker from start to finish. And yes, I got probably an hour through the city centre through rush hour traffic and I got a half a mile to a petrol station and it was pee pee time. And it took me 30 minutes right. to get half traffic. a mile. And yes, went for a pee pee. And it's then got nice. another litre of coffee. Filled the petrol up into the car. Got my ass on the go. And started driving isn't traffic. by which it's cyclists. I was severely frustrated Jeez. with the being beeped left from right. And couldn't wait to get out of London. So anyway, on the way home, wanted to drive a little bit more safe. So I didn't do much footage. Um, didn't bump into any zombie workmen on the way home. But plenty of 50 mile an hour limit zones. And... Um, yeah, thanks for keeping me company and following my journey, although rather short, if long as well at the same time. Uh, don't forget, you can like and subscribe to this channel and you can follow me on Instagram. It's Matt Bowd underscore official and check me out on Facebook, Aesthetics Matthew Bowd. And I will be seeing you on stage at the O2 Arena in London for the WBFF Pro and Amateur Championships this coming weekend, the 4th of November. So peace out, guys, and see you soon.